how can we calculate the angle between two vectors? So from the definition of the dot product, the dot product of vector x with vector y is equal to the modulus of vector x times the modulus of vector y times the cosine of the smaller angle between the two vectors. Dividing both sides by the modulus of x by the modulus of y gives And if you want to try and find theta, well then theta is equal to the cos inverse So this is how we can find the measure of the angle between two vectors. Here we have the vector ml, the vector mn, and theta is the angle between these two vectors. So the cosine of theta is equal to the dot product of ml with mn all over the modulus of ml times the modulus of mn or we could write this as the cosine of theta is equal to the dot product of lm with nm all over the modulus of ml times the modulus of mn what's important here is that when you're finding the dot product you either get both vectors in the direction away from the point M, so ML and MN, or you take the two vectors in the direction towards M, so LM and NM. You cannot have one going towards and one going away. When you multiply the vector ML by MN, the dot product, you will get an answer. If you were to multiply LM, which is just the negative of ML, by nm, which is the negative of mn, you will get the same answer as a negative by a negative gives the positive. Whereas if you were to do one towards and one away, you will not get the same answer. Here is an example of a question asking you to find the angle between two vectors. A is the vector 3i plus j, so here is the vector a, and b is the vector i plus 2j, which is here. And the question is asking you to find the angle between the two vectors a and b. So from our definition, the cos of the angle between the two vectors is equal to the dot product of vector a with b all over the modulus of vector a by the modulus of vector b. Now a good idea would be to try and find the dot product of a with b and find the modulus of a and b and then put them back in here to this formula. So over here we'll find the dot product of a with b. This is equal to 3i plus j dotted with i plus 2j, which is equal to, so from the definition of the dot product, we need to find the product of the i coefficients and add them to the product of the j coefficients. So it's 3 times 1 plus 1 times 2, which is equal to 3 plus 2, which is 5. Now, another thing that you'll have to find is the modulus of A and the modulus of vector B. So looking for the modulus of vector A, from the definition of the modulus, it's the square root of 3 squared plus 1 to be squared, which is equal to the square root of 9 plus 1, which is equal to the square root of 10. The modulus of vector b is equal to the square root of, well b is 1i plus 2j, so it's going to be 1 to be squared plus 2 to be squared is equal to the square root of 1 plus 4 which is equal to the root of 5. So now filling back into your formula here, and we'll do it in the middle because there's more room, you have the cos of theta 
is equal to the dot product of a with b, which turned out to be 5 all over the modulus of vector a times the modulus of vector b. Now the modulus of vector a turned out to be the root of 10, and the modulus of vector b turned out to be the root of 5. So this is then 5 over the square root of 50, which is equal to 5 over, now we can split the square root, so that could be the square root of 2 times the square root of 25, which is equal to 5 over root 2 times 5. And the 5s will divide into each other, giving 1. So your answer is 1 over the root of 2. Now that's what the cos of theta is. So theta is equal to the cos inverse of 1 over root 2, which is equal to 45 degrees.